um, um, okay. So now what I'm thinking is, uh, there's a couple contributions from Wacker. So, uh, I don't know if you can see this, but I, I already know goodness of fit, uh, open-endedness and lived with. I've got those here. Uh, now I'm trying to incorporate these five things, which are another Wackery contribution, which is that goodness of fit in HCI requires resources, adaptation, ensembles, time, and anonymity, and those definitely need to be Zettles. And so I'm thinking, where do those five qualities come in? And they come off of goodness of fit. Um, and then I also have orbiting in my brain the three examples that Wackery describes, um, which are three types of unselfconscious interaction, what happened with them. And I'll want to collect those. Will they be Zettles? I don't know. But they definitely need to be on the map because I just know from my own memory that it will be helpful for them to be on the map. Um, I'll show you briefly. Hopefully this won't be too much of a... Sidetrack, I have the same problem here, uh, and I use the word designed, so maybe I should just follow that model, and then I have some examples of slow technology that has been designed that are off-shooting, and one of them actually is a Zeldel, a Zettel, um, and it has, uh, it has a, a, you know, a, a description, but the rest don't. So, question is... I'm going to just put designed. Ugh, I don't know if I want to do that, but you know what? Like I said. Because that way, I have two directions. Um, Yeah. Okay. So here's, <laughs> this has got to be the most boring thing you've ever watched. <laughs> I can't, anyway, that achieves goodness of fit when designed with open internet and lived with, and then these are going to be the five things. So I figured that out. Oops. Okay, so now I have these, and I'm going to put um, five things here, um, resources, adaptation, ensembles, time, anonymity. Um, So what I'm doing now is I'm looking to see if there's anything else. There is something else. All right, so these will, I'm not going to do it because of time, but these will get all connected, and they will say something like um, includes, and every one of these will come down from this part here, and we'll say includes like that, but that'll be all five, okay? Here, I'll say self-conscious design. I'm saying, as opposed to self-conscious design. And I may have something that comes off of that, but that might be all that I need um, for that. I'm continuing to look at my notes. Okay, I know another one that I need to put. Um, 
this is going to be called purposeful purposelessness. Purposeful purposelessness, which is a concept from Wackery. Okay, so what I'm realizing now is I could actually maybe create, let's see if this sentence will work. Uns uns Unselfconscious interaction is an HCI method that achieves goodness of fit when designed for purposeful purposelessness, which includes, which, no, I think that is, okay, so So my thought process here, this has got to be ridiculously long, is um, that uh, purposeful purposelessness um, may take place of design or it may result in everything. Um, so one way that it could result in everything is that I just bring these down. Just call it that for now. Okay, and um, so we may change this, but all that said, I've looked at my notes and I feel like I have achieved a comprehensive map of the things that I want to zettle. So said another way, I've looked at all the dots which are intended to be zettles and I've made sure that each of them is represented on the map. And so far, they are. And so because of that, now I will go through and I will start to, to zettle the things that I think should be zettled. That said, not everything on this will be zettled. HCI design method, I don't need to zettle that. Designed, I may not even have that. Or if I do, I may just leave it there and have it just be a little, a little node that, that doesn't have any real content to it. And that happens in all of my theories. Um, you'll see in slow technology that um, function, there's no zettle here. Development, no zettle. Envelopment, there's definitely a zettle. So what are the things that need to be zettled? That's the stuff that gets zettled. Um, the model doesn't have to have everything in it zettled. When it gets settled, so let's say I start with purposeful purposelessness and I zettle all about the fact that something has an aesthetic that allows for potential and has a lot of attention and paid to how it looks, but actually doesn't have any clarity as to how it should be used. And you know, all the different things that I learned about that awesome phrase, purposeful purposelessness, um, I'll zettle that. I may have some offshoots through my zettling process and I realize, you know what? This is actually more um, specific, and I'm going to call this out. So purposeful, purposeless night might actually have some offshoots that are also zettles, might not. Um, and then once I make it a zettle, I'll go down here to the prototype, and I'll turn it into a zettle prototype. And it will be set in my little zettle uh, agent. And I'll also stamp it um, and tell it to sync with Dev and Think, and it'll go to my Dev and Think, and it will be good to go. So this entire model um, will get it settles and then um, and then I'll leave it and it'll just be in my zettle cost in that way. Um, I'm thinking that I might also create a blog post about this and put what the final model actually looks like so I won't do any more videotaping and again apologies for taking so darn long to go through this. Hope you watched it on two times speed um, and uh, and I'll put what it ended up actually being at the end so you see how the process changed. I really hope this is helpful. It really was um, your fault, Andre, for emailing me and asking <laughs> what this process was. Uh, be well, everyone. Thanks.